It's all for the environment. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. The pushback against the oil and gas industry in this country, specifically pipelines, continues unabated by the left-leaning eastern establishment. Yeah, last week it was Liberal Mayor of Montreal, former Federal Liberal Cabinet Minister Denny Coderre, who came out and said, no, we don't want Energy East running through the territory in and around Montreal. We don't think it's environmentally sensitive enough. That caused a bit of an outroar, specifically since, well, Western Canada has been paying the freight for Quebec and for Montreal for quite a long time. Now, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau went to meet with Denny Coderre this week rather than well, rather than correct him and say, look, Denny, you can't just say no to these things, Trudeau stood there and said, we've got to, we've got to make sure we get it right for the environment. Canadians know that you can't build a strong economy without protecting the environment at the same time. It's not one or the other. And people know we do need a strong economy uh, and we need a protected environment. And the process that the Liberal government is putting forward is very much focused on permitting uh, a development of uh, both of those things simultaneously in partnership with concerned citizens and levels of government. Now, a couple of points here. Nobody wants a dirty environment. And if you listen to Trudeau in that clip and elsewhere, he would have you believe that the former government only cared about economic development, not the environment, that they you know, just let people pollute, do what they want. It's not true. But this is the liberal agenda because it lets them set the table for what's coming next. And what is coming next? Greenhouse gas emissions being added to any review of oil and gas pipelines. Environment Minister Catherine McKenna confirming that in a scrum with reporters outside the House of Commons. So as we've said, uh, we will be looking at uh, greenhouse gas emissions, including upstream emissions. Uh, we have also said for projects that are in transition, they won't be returning to uh, the starting line, and this will just be part of uh, this will be part of the review. So what does that mean? Look, we know climate change is big for this government. Was in every single mandate letter for every single cabinet minister. Even the Minister of National Revenue that just collects the money was told they've got to work on climate change. But what does adding greenhouse gas emissions to a review of a pipeline mean? Well, what it means is that that pipeline will be responsible for every greenhouse gas emission, every ton of CO2 emitted by the products carried through it. Doesn't matter where the CO2 is burned, what it's used for, how it's used, the government will come up with a formula and say this pipeline carries this much oil or this much gas in the case of liquid natural gas pipelines. That means its carbon footprint is X. Whether that is too big or too low or just right, that will now be determined or a be a determining factor in whether the pipeline gets approved. The government wants you to think that they're just about finding that balance between economic development and the environment. They're not. They are all about ensuring that there is less development. They are about ensuring that we move away from a carbon-based economy. Remember Trudeau saying at Davos, you know, the old guys wanted you to know we had resources. I want to know, you to know that we're resourceful. Well, consider this. Trudeau's key advisor, Gerald Butts, he's on the record. He's on the record. Canada needs to have a zero-carbon economy. No oil, no gas. We'll run our houses on solar and wind, I suppose, and find something else to run our cars and run our manufacturing operations. That's the goal. That's what they're moving towards. This isn't about sustainable development. It's about changing development. That's the agenda. Don't let their words fool you.